When you grow up, would you like to be an explorer? Everybody knows they eat Cheerios. Each day you'll get go power like an explorer. If you know your rope and eat Cheerios, you're gonna be strong and be a mountain climbing man. With the pow, pow, power breakfast, you can, you can, you can. Thanks to Cheerios, those tasty toastios. Yes, Cheerios, made from oats, nature's most nutritious cereal grain. Toasted golden crisp for specially delicious toasted oat flavor. And a Cheerios Power Breakfast gives you power protein to help you grow strong. And energy vitamin B1 that gives you go power. He's got power, power, power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. If you know your oats, you too will go for the Power Breakfast Cheerios. I wouldn't begin to tell you the name of it in Korean, but Miss uh, Gia here would. What is the name of this? Called Kayagum. 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 Yeah. Now, how old is this? I mean, not this particular instrument, but how old is this kind of instrument? Oh, uh, this uh, the, uh, made by original for Korea, uh, Korean. About, yes. Uh, Two uh, hundred years ago. So. Twenty-five hundred yeah. years ago. Yes. Wow. Or is it 2,500 years B.C.? Which is it? Uh, B.C. Oh, 2,500 years B.C. That makes it even older. That makes it 4,000 years old almost. That's long ago, long before there was the United States, as you know, long before there were even Western instruments yes. like, like nature. Well, that's, uh, that's one of the instruments that you can find in Korea. Here's another one. Can we, if you will move that away, I will move this into position for you to play. This is a drum, a kind of a drum, and it's beautiful to look at. It's red lacquer. And it's tuned on the sides by moving these uh, collars up and down on the strings. And then listen to the sound. lot of different sounds out of this oh, yeah. drum and is this used quite a bit in dances dances singing and everything we use this everything yeah. yes as lacquer and do you know what this is made out of this is called uh, leather leather yeah. any particular kind of animal uh, the cow the cow yeah right this is for sheep yeah. a sheepskin on that side mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, uh, the dance is such an important part of uh, music in Korea, and we have this large drum right here in the center, and uh, Gia's daughter is uh, standing right next to it, as a matter of fact, and it is used in a dance, which was danced, um, it's a dance about monks in Korea, in a temple, monks and novices and uh, nuns, and uh, this dance is going to be danced by uh, Gia and her daughter and Miss Kim and her daughter. Two on one side and two on the other. And as soon as Jia gets ready, I will in the meantime clear the area. And this is a dance that boys and girls you will see, which is very unusual and not very often seen in this country. May I take this? I'll take it all the way off so nobody will do it. All right. Here is the dance of the monks.
Go away. Come over here. Sit down. Come here. Sit down. Ah, your mothers are getting ready for the masked dance. And while they're getting ready, I just wanted to show the boys and girls a little bit about how songs sounded. Incidentally, that was a magnificent dance. And beautiful drums. Did it take you long to learn that? Huh? Did you learn that in Korea? The drums? Yes. Yes. Did it take long? Long yes. time? Yes, I can imagine so. Long time. A long time, Alan? Very. Very long time. Right. All right. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on. All right, George and Terry, come on in here. You come on over back here and just kind of squat down here. George and Terry, come here. Come on around back here. You can remain standing, George and Terry. You know, in Korea, all the boys and girls, it seems to me, sing beautifully. I've never known a Korean boy and girl who couldn't sing and sing well. And I would like our group here to sing a song. What would you like to sing? Alan, what would you like to sing? Um, Arirang, a lovely song. All right, can you sing Arirang? Yes. Sing Arirang? Yes. All right, we have a record, too, of a Korean children's chorus singing Arirang, and we'll sing along with them. All right, let's do that. Here we go. As soon as we hear the music, we can start singing. <laughs> been over for six years, there are still many problems in Korea, aren't there? Uh, like what? Like poor people. Poor people, yes. And many orphans. Orphans, yes, boys and girls without parents. No food. No food. No clothes. No clothes. And... And not enough to eat a lot of times, and not enough houses to live in. Yeah. And I can second that because, of course, I spent about a year in Korea and I remember how very badly off some of the boys and girls were. I guess you're one of the lucky ones because you have beautiful clothes and your mother and father, but a lot of boys and girls in Korea still don't. They still need our help. The American Korean Foundation is probably the best way we know of to help. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't take very much just giving up a chocolate ice cream soda this week and sending the diamond to the American Korean Foundation would buy maybe a week's supply of milk for a boy or girl in Korea. Isn't that right? Yes. And they do appreciate it and they do need it. So I'll tell you what. Why don't maybe all the boys and girls who are listening, if you could all put a dime into an envelope, or a nickel even, and send it, say, you heard this on Wonderama and you want to help, and send it into the American Korean Foundation. I'll tell you the address in a little while. Then. A lot of boys and girls in Korea maybe could, um, could eat a little more and maybe get some clothes and get some penicillin shots to help them stay healthy. Like you, things that you do every day in the week are so hard to do in Korea sometimes for a lot of the boys and girls. So you kind of think about that, will you? And it would be fun if we could pile up so much mail in the American Korean Foundation offices that they'd have to get another office. <laughs> all with dimes in it, all from the boys and girls of America. That'd be wonderful to do. You think about that, huh? And I'll tell you the address in a little while. Thank you, dear. Thank you for singing Arirang. And now, I tell you, let's end this visit to Korea with a very funny dance. This is a dance about, uh, about a man, a funny-looking man, and a funny-looking lady. But they fall in love anyway, do this funny-looking man and this funny-looking lady. And they uh, have a dance about that. And here is the mask dance. Here we go.
Have you enjoyed your visit to Korea, George? Fine. Fine. Alan? Mm -hmm. Hi there. <laughs> Alan just winded back in. Come on over here, Alan. Did you enjoy your visit to Korea? Did you? Have you ever been that far away from home before in your life? I hope someday both of you get a chance to visit Korea by yourselves. Alan, of course, you've been in Korea. Yeah. You were? You've never been to Korea? Um, you were born here? No, I was born in Tokyo. In Tokyo. Ah, that's Japan. That's the capital of Japan. Well, Alan, your sister dances very well, and so does your mother. She's Korean. She's Korean. I know that, <laughs> yes. All right, Alan, thank you. You can go on back over there and join them. Listen, did you hear what I said about sending in dimes and things like that for the Korean children who need food? Did you hear me, George? Yeah, but I forgot. You forgot? Mm -hmm. George, do you drink ice cream sodas? Yeah. Do you ever buy them? Do you ever have a dime and you go out and you buy a soda or an ice cream cone? Do you ever get any money? Yeah. You do, do you? You know what I want you to do this week, George? What? Do you get an allowance? Yeah. How much money do you get? I think 10 cents or 50 cents. 10 cents or 50 cents? Well, whatever it is this week, whether it's 10 cents or 50 cents, mm. will you, instead of going out and spending it, will you put it in an envelope and send it to an address I'm going to give you? Yeah. You too, sweetie Terry. Will you do that? I even have food. You have what? Food. You have food, but some boys and girls don't. You want to help them eat so that they don't, they're not hungry? All right. You want to send in some money? All right. It's the American Korean Foundation, and the address is 345 East 46th Street. Can you remember that? 345 East 46. That's not hard, is it? American Korean Foundation, 345 East 46th Street. I don't care what it is, whether it's a nickel or a dime or 50 cents. Let's swap them. Let's make a real kind of a, a mountain of mail for them to see tomorrow morning and Tuesday morning when they walk in so that they can tell the boys and girls in Korea that the boys and girls who watch Wonderama really care. Will you do that? All right. Back from Korea. Back from Korea. Welcome back to the United States, George. Well, boy, did you have a good time? Boy, did we miss you. Really, we missed you. Did you know that? No. You didn't know we missed you? No. Oh, boy, did we miss you. And boy, you know we missed you, too. Did you, did you have a good time? Good. Welcome home. Your mother's been wondering where you were. Uh, she's back now. She's back, Mrs. Dennison. Your, your child's back from Korea. And boy, it didn't cost you very much to go there, did it? No. Uh, they did a nice shoestring. Okay. We are going to go on now and have some more fun here with some animals and some games and everything. But don't you forget the boys and girls in Korea. Here's a cartoon called the Ding Dong Daddies.